Got me on school bus. And I'm basically thought I was a race car driver. I go back there and pick them kids up. Some of the parents say, I don't know, I want my kid get on that bus or not. <laughs> I'm coming in that bitch with that bitch to the bottom. <laughs> I burned a tank of gas, I burned about two tank of gas a day. <laughs> it fucked up when they told me, said, wherever you go, you take the bus with you. Shit, I'll be all on the block and everything, motherfucker. <laughs> you know, you know wherever I get in with some, with some gas on them, I got that radio up there on the ass pump. Huh? Yep. The men on the bus go where, where, where. You are where, where, where. where. This is that podcast. T H I S Y O U R S T O P podcast. Search it just like that on all social media platforms, but specifically on YouTube. Subscribe, red, click it, thumbs up, look at some videos, talk yo ish. It's free. I swear to God, a machine gun Johnny, Johnny Tsunami, Johnny Winfrey. Johnny Downey Jr., Boston Johnny, Johnny Leyenda, call me what you want, but you can't call me fake and don't call me for fronts. You already know what the drill is. And who is texting me? Nobody. Go ahead. You already know what it is. More importantly, fuck with the podcast. Been seeing y'all out there getting on. More people rocking with us. More people touching in. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we about to start having them live ones where y'all could call in. So call it your live. Night joints where <laughs> motherfuckers could get in and, you know, hey. you know that's going to be wild. So definitely reach out. How you think that's going to go? What? When you have Callie alive. Yon, the Han, the hair. Shit's going to be crazy as shit. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> just calling and saying anything. You're going to have to hang up. Damn, I wish we could hang up like a regular phone. Not just Good. click up. I mean, you know, like click, like not just press a button. Yeah, you know, niggas click that shit. It's more emphasis when you clap. A um, lot going on. Um, we, gonna, we should drop this ASAP because um, it's the anniversary of the marathon bombing. So when I saw that they were evacuating City Hall here in Boston, I'm like, okay, people playing games. But then I realized it's the anniversary of the marathon bombing. Whoa. So that's why they, you know, people are doing what they're doing. Peopling. People are peopling right now. So whether it's real or not, y'all just keep your head on the swivel, like Pop says. Shit's getting out of control with all this public shit. There's too much shit going on in um public places. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just really getting crazy in public. You know what I'm saying? To where you really got to be aware and be on point no matter where you are. Registry. Mm-hmm. These malls is getting crazy. Child of mall. Yeah, they, big ass shooting just in South Carolina in the mall. That shit was crazy. You know, they said nobody got killed, but they said... Man, people got injured, you know what I'm saying? So that shit's definitely crazy. It's crazy because <clears throat> you never know. You can be on point as much as you want to, right? Well, but you just never know when some shit goes down. You can keep your head on the swivel all you want, but not to say don't be hypervigilant, uh, excuse me, hypervigilant, but be vigilant at least. Man, you definitely got to be vigilant now in public because you never know what the fuck could happen, so... Definitely got to be vigilant. Keep your kids close. Keep your pocketbook close. Keep one headphone in. You don't got to have two okay. blasting your music. Keep your motherfucking your sneakers tied up. You <laughs> never know when you're going to have to run the fuck up out of this motherfucker. If you shit. wear the Crocs, you got to put on yeah. sport mode. Wow, nah, now they got the um, tight Crocs where they ain't even loose no more like that. Now they got some shit more that's like fitted. You could... Like, nah, I seen some, they got mad colors of them shits. I was like, damn, Croc trying to come in. They know what it is. You can't keep it on sport mode. You still come out of it wearing slides everywhere. Nike slides is over. And, you know, um, love to all them people that just got caught up in that South Carolina mall shooting. They said nobody was arrested, but shout out to all them people, you know. Hopefully everybody good, everybody make it home. Child. And that just happened in Boston recently, remember? Oh, yeah, South Bay, South Shore. Yeah, yeah. Nah, niggas got to, um, I don't know. I can't tell niggas what to do, right. but at the end of the day, that shit in public kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand drama going to be drama, but on site, me on we got to know where, like, yo, it's the time and the place. Sometimes mm-hmm. it just, all right, it can't happen here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it got to be the way we'll link, we'll run back into you. 
People take this on-site shit quite literally. Sometimes it, it can't be on-site, you know? I'm not talking about the mass shooters, the crazies, but y'all take this on-site shit a little bit too literal, you know? Again, like the man said, can't tell nobody what to do, but just think about it, please. But on-site do mean on-site. That do mean, like, wherever the fuck I see you. It don't mean, like, if I see you in this the, the coast is clear. Nah, <laughs> on site really do mean whatever. So that's why I said. After Ever 21 like, in the mall uh, on a Saturday afternoon. No bullshit. That should be bad. Like, it, it's definitely bad. Like, and the one thing motherfuckers don't understand is that a lot of these malls is either going to start having super tight security. And then I know motherfuckers don't want to have to go in the mall with metal detectors. Like, you know how aggravating that's going to be trying to get into the mall and put your shit you know on what? the thing? And like, they would never. They could have 10 mass shootings 10 days out of the week. They still would not do that because they don't. They need people to come and spend their money. And see, that's what I'm trying to say. But at some point, they're going to, this shit's definitely going to tighten up. They're probably going to have armed, you know, when you go to other countries, they have armed people everywhere. Right, and that's what I'm saying. Now, do you want to be in a mall with your kid with a motherfucker that's armed? With the rifle. And trying to tell you to keep moving and, you know what I'm saying, or whatever sure. have you. <laughs> That's why I say a lot of things that um, we don't notice it when we're younger. I think you kind of notice it when you're older. A lot of shit that tighten up, it be like our own fault. Keep on moving, baby. Just keep on moving. What else happened in mass before we get to nationwide shit? Um, oh, the poor person that uh, died. Um, on the red line. So you said he was getting off the train, not on. Yeah, he was getting off, they said. And was it, like, did his coat get caught? Like, what do you, you know? I don't know. He said his arm or something. Mm. That's kind of like a sticky one. Um, mm-hmm. Well, I was thinking um, it could have been like a book bag or something, you know, got caught or, you know, something to his jacket. Um, that's a lot of shit you got to look out for when jumping off the train, having shit on your back, everything, um, and moving accordingly. You know what I'm saying? I was waiting for more information to come out on mm-hmm. that before we speak on it because that is like a crazy city. And I always, you know, since it happened, want to know how it happened. Yeah. You know, I'm a wide person. And some things just happen. I hate that saying. Shit happens when it comes to, you know, people RIP to that person. But... That's why I thought initially it was getting on. You know how someone tries to stop the doors from closing and they try to, you know, stick an arm yeah, on Yeah, they were saying something about the MBTA supposed to look before, you they know, close. pulling off. Like it's they supposed do. To be they be having they, um, they head out looking. They'll be paying attention to that shit. Like, you got to think, man, like, no bullshit. And, it, and it's so, you know, I think we spoke about this on one of the first podcasts. It's like, it's dope that, these young kids are moving into a lot of fields quicker shit, way quicker than we was, or our parents was, or maybe grandparents, you know. Um, but it do come with this type of shit now. Like, you know, look at how many um, trolleys done crashed in this time due to human error, you know what I'm saying? So you got to think, you got these young kids on their phone, on a book, on Instagram while they working. Like, that's a new thing to be, mm-hmm. you know, on Instagram while you work. Like, um... I don't know. It's like, you know, that shit make a lot of shit unsafe. I was even thinking about, like, um, carnivals now. I don't know if I would get on a ride. Oh, my goodness. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm a person that love rides. Anybody ever been around me, we hit the carnival, I'm trying to jump on everything. But with the climate of knowing a motherfucker could have not tighten something or, you know, didn't do, you know, skip this step thinking that, nah, that shit run Just like a, this yeah, every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know someone else fell out. I know um, you talked about that. Th- oh, that me and you? Cause we fell out too over the same <laughs> damn motherfucking thing. <laughs> thinking everything going to work and it didn't motherfucking work the way we see. Oh, so right. So come with cutting on. Um, nah, but it's, it's like it's real because it come with cutting corners. When we cut corners and not even cut corners, it's like we get comfortable when this shit been working every day. You know, so it's like if you put up a ride and the ride been working and maybe you forgot you like, ah, oh, shit cool. But you you don't know you putting lives in line. You know what I'm saying? Same way you was up here putting motherfuckers lives in line. Lives not on the live, line. Not lives on the line. Now you got you got me coming out my shoulder pads no now. Bullshit, get hot. You got me <laughs> getting hot in this motherfucker. I was trying now. to give y'all a look. You know, yeah, I was trying to give y'all machine gun. I had to get motherfucking hug with it. Like I had to give y'all shoulder pads, honey. 
But, yeah, someone else fell out of a ride. Um, I know y'all heard about that poor young man, but some lady fell out of a ride recently as well. Uh, I've been seeing that's what I'm trying to say. Like, if you see a lot of this shit, it's been, but when they go down to it, it's been human error. It's not like the ride just not nah, been somebody at fault of the end, and that's how shit is now. You know what I'm saying? I feel with everything going on, you know, back then, you really just focus on your job. You didn't have that many things going on. Now you have a hundred. You have a hundred things going on. So there's a probability of something not going right. You know they put them things up in like condos in the hood. They throw them carnivals up just as fast as they there. They're gone. Yeah, hell yeah, them shits be gone. Even when I was young, I used to be like, how the fuck that shit just leave mm. like that and it's empty now? Like, <laughs> yeah, grand open, grand closing. I have to rock them fair, honey. It's definitely like, um, you know, I think it be us, though. You know, I think a lot of shit that come with error really be with the humans, you know, and us being lax and, you know, shit's just going and mm. look at the Travis Scott shit that happened, like, he didn't see that coming. He throw that festival. Everything always work out. And shit didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's what I'm saying. It's about motherfuckers getting too comfortable. And how many times, I mean, how many people you think that was on the job that night that was comfortable in their job? Probably seen somebody, yo, go pick them up. Didn't see the shit just falling down. like. And it was understaffed as well for that many people. Thousands upon thousands of people. That's like um, jail from what I understand. How you got so many people, you have to, so many moving parts, but only a few staff. I'm telling you. Whew. I keep thinking about that that poor boy. Shit definitely getting crucial. And you know, I don't know if you saw when he was going up. When he was going up, he told his neighbor, I ain't going to make it. Tell my mom and daddy I love him. When Can he you was going up what? In the ride, that boy. When he was going up in the ride. He told his a kid next to him, the same right. If I die, tell my mom and daddy I love them. God damn, that's crazy. He knew it was going down. Oh, oh. Yeah, <sighs> motherfuckers got to stop. Oh, some of the shit that niggas is leaking. I promise you, y'all shouldn't leak it. Y'all should keep it to yourself. Like, Are you talking about that shit. video and videos in general? Because yeah, that was so disgusting. Like motherfuckers is just putting like. <sighs> Motherfuckers getting killed all different kind of ways. Like, motherfuckers just walking up, blowing niggas head off with a shotgun. Niggas just released the whole footage. Like, all type of shit I done seen. Like, the shit in Ukraine, they walked up on some car, bomb just blew all of them up. Like, motherfuckers just... And they tape it from the... So you can see what a person from is the giddy doing up. before. Like, oh, yeah, you know, we just walk in, boom, boom, boom. You just had then, your phone out? Yeah, like, yo, that shit, that's why I be like, yo, this shit is... Oh, this. my God. It's not funny craft, but, like, how... I have my phone on me all the time. I cannot get to my camera at, that fast. Nah, that's how motherfuckers be, though. Motherfuckers shit. Motherfuckers really be all... And that's what I'm saying. These young kids just move with it in their head. It's damn near, like, if they move with it on record. That, like, you, you got know, to. I don't even know how the fuck they be getting this footage. Like, no bullshit. Like, oh some of you God. niggas should really be journalists, my nigga. Like, you niggas need to be on the front line... Getting some other type shit than this shit y'all be getting, cause y'all be getting some shits that be like, what, who who was around you that was like released that shit? Somebody should have erased that shit, my dude. Like, you know, showing what I'm saying? dead bodies. Yeah, like it just after be, the fact. This chicks terrible. getting killed, niggas getting killed, chicks, you know, dudes killing a chick, chicks killing a dude. It's like, and then you really get the video. Like, it's not like back in the days you had body, yo, they go on the trial, so then you got to piece it together. Mm, yeah, maybe no, you got like, everything right there. That honey. shit, like, the whole, back in the days, niggas used to get pictures, and you had to put the pictures together. Child. Like, <laughs> like a flip like, book. Yeah, now it's like, this shit is like, you know, live and uncut, like, you know, no no editing, no nothing. Y'all got to stop um, with the fight videos. It'd be funny until it's you. People laughing, oh, he got washed or she got washed. Until it happens to you, now you're mad. Fight videos are cool. Really? Fight videos are cool if y'all fight. As long as niggas ain't really trying to hurt each other. You know, a fight's a fight. But when you see a motherfucker is, like, really injured, he's down, shit over. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't like a fight is not like the killer nigga. A fight it's is not. Like, I'm just saying as far as. a disagreement, maybe that's the way. 
we could come. But niggas have to start learning that it's more to a fight. But with the youngins, I understand. But niggas got to stop, like, jumping niggas, jumping on little girls, little girls jumping on other little girls. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, if two motherfuckers having a disagreement and y'all all meet up at the park and, you know, take the fight and then motherfuckers dap it up and then them two come to, yo, release the shit. Fuck it, it is what it is. You know, I'm not against niggas putting the mitts to each other, but. I'm not against any fisticuffs. You need it's to get just back about to that. How motherfuckers doing it. But like then when you in. when you post it now, I think this is not the only reason people. But when you post it, now the person that got washed is now on the internet forever. And now either they're gonna let it ride or they're gonna ante up and one up the person. You know what I'm saying? Because you're embarrassed. You already got washed in front of everybody, but now it's on on a TV, on your phone. I don't yeah, know. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, oh, a lot of shit now, you know, it's on. I was looking at, like, oh, so much shit. It's like how we want this shit, but then we don't want the shit mm-hmm. that, the, the other shit that yeah, come with yeah, it. Like, yeah. we all want the good shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. record me when it's good. Mm-hmm. You know, give me the applause and everything, but the this shit's fucked up. It's like, well, why everybody on me? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, oh, um, and that brought me to the Benzino shit. Like, you know how everybody been on him. They been killing him. Shout out the dog. Um, and with him, I think now with him going through it so many months, he's getting used to it now. All right, this shit just some trolling shit. You know, and good mm-hmm. niggas are starting to pass. tell him this is how this shit go, bro. If you pay no attention, shit go by. If you argue the shit, it's going to make it worse. You know what I'm saying? So I think we got to mm. learn the tricks and the trades to this shit. You know what I'm saying? When niggas get you, fuck it. Just learn how to be God and let it blow over. But you mm-hmm. trying to, nah, I wasn't point. like, check how I was doing it. And Benzino, we on your ass tonight. No, you got one coming. Oh my God. It's all out of love, but we <laughs> on your ass tonight. So know that. Yo, you check the tapes. Coming, check the tapes. How many times do I say... No dog slander shall prosper, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You're from the city. Yeah. It's all out of love. Them tapes is nasty. We are going to kill you. You already been dead, but we going to wake your you ass You say you're going to beat a dead horse? Whoa. The man, your kid kicked the man while he down? Oh, bullshit. He ain't even down. Dog, I'm living. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's the only reason I'm going to talk shit about it because I really know he in good spirits. His health is good. You know what I'm saying? Like, family good. That's what matters the most. You know what I'm saying? So, with that, I know he'll be able to take it like, okay, niggas talking shit. And, like, I always tell niggas, I know my time's coming. Child. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a nigga that been moving, doing this podcast shit. We over 100 <laughs> videos in. So, you know, what you I gonna know. What um, you going to do? You going to argue your point like, dog? Probably argue my shit. I would have did. That's Boston shit. Yeah, but you just said let it pass, but you ain't going to do Boston it. That's Boston shit. Nigga still, I know me. Like, I would probably be that nigga. It depends on what it is. Because then certain shit you got it. Like, the transsexual shit, yeah. Transgender. You you know, transgender, yeah, you would have had to feed it. Maybe. Um, but then with him, I don't understand because he have a lot of people he's close to that's gay. So it would have that probably would have wiped me off like if I would have been around that many gay people just friends with. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not saying I'm not a friend, but I'm not friends with I with people that unless y'all niggas wanna come out and let me know. I don't think none of my friends is openly gay, but if so, you can let me know. It's all love. I'm gonna walk this shit with you. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna walk this shit with you. You still my nigga. I don't give a fuck what you do in your personal life. That ain't my life. You know what I'm saying? But you know, um, to have friends like that, that shit come with it now. You know what I'm saying? And um, shouldn't even be a thing. Not even to go hard on it, but it's like don't even because we why, gotta um, kick it. Later. Why is it a problem with a man having a gay friend or a transgender friend? You know, it's you like, know why it's a problem. The word combo that you hate the most, everybody, he hates it, toxic masculinity. That's why it's hard. So people are saying, oh, I love everybody, love everybody, everyone should be equal. But then, like you said, as soon as you even get a whiff that somebody might have a friend that's gay, not even themselves, now it's like, oh, you want that gay shit. But Y'all I'm saying, far as like, don't it be mainly women and gay people that say it? Say what? Love that everybody. He's, no, that oh. he's friends with it or he's gay or he be with Trent. No, it's not mainly women or gay people. Yes, it is. 
The dude Jason Lee known for put on bombing motherfuckers. I'm not saying they don't. I'm just saying it's not the mainly. The dude that's just been on here with the Benzino shit that started all this shit, he's another one. How are you gay calling men gay? Like that, I that, that is like That is like the craziest. You cannot be gay being like this man is gay. It's called outing, and that's not okay. I agree with you. It's not okay to out or attempt to out somebody. But what is wrong with that if... If I'm your man and one of my close friends is a transgender, like, what is wrong? There's nothing wrong with it <laughs> at all. So my shit's still normal. What do you mean? There's nothing. I'm just saying, I, you know me, ain't nothing wrong with it. So you're talking about something that. I ain't that even gonna lie. I can see you saying some foul shit. You. Mad at me one fuck shit, you would say. I would five. not say that. Or not against the motherfucker. I wouldn't definitely to me. I wouldn't say it to you or anybody that I, I would uh, not say anything like I that. And that I'm a, a little offended. I'm a lot offended because we right. grew up together and you know me. Because I'm can forty see me years old. I, yeah, but you're a whole other animal, honey. I can see you know me. I would what not the fuck are you you be? you know I what would, I'm saying? But I can anyone see that knows me know like, I would yo. not say anything like that, even in the heat of the moment. Ever. Never. Most of the I shit say people a lot of say shit, that but they I'm ain't going to say in the heat of the moment, they motherfucking I've say. I've said a lot of shit, and but I will, but I not don't, that. I don't think, um, on the contrary, that it would be just nothing. I don't. You can't make me believe that. And I'm not saying you personally. I'm just saying in general. Like, say, my fan, you know, my fans and the motherfuckers that fuck with me, my right-hand man was a tr- Like, no, I not see me. fans, and You got fans? Well, I see me going through the... He be fucking with boys. He be. But why couldn't we just be, that's my nigga. And, and then it's so fucked up because then I feel it would push a nigga more to get a girlfriend. Now you got to publicly get a girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, sex because tape. if you a motherfucker that just, I be smashing and nobody know who you smashing. Yeah, you got to put the sex tape out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, nah, sometimes it's like, I think that is a big one that we are confused about. Because I really, and this is just my opinion. It's had nothing to do with nothing. This is just my opinion. Yes, only his. I feel motherfuckers know it's not right. All right, Deacon Craft. Um, even they know it's not right. That's why I feel a lot of gay men try to say that a lot of regular men are gay. Um, not regular. <laughs> I'm not saying that you you can live your life however you want. But to push it on people or to say, this is the way God made me and all that shit, no. Oh, my God. So when it comes to, because. The views this is, expressed are crafts and crafts alone doesn't re- that's represent why I just the said whole that. podcast. That's why I just said that. Okay, These I'm just saying work. it again. Word. <laughs> like, yo, and, and I fuck with whoever people are. Like, that don't bother me. It, the other shit bothers me. It bothers me when these are the people that push it on other people. These are the people that try to out other men or other women. Like, no, that shit ain't what up. And it's very rare I hear a straight man saying that, yo, this motherfucker gay and watch how I know. No, usually this is some shit like that come from oh women. God, that's the main people that be like, oh, oh, he on that gay shit. Come on. Stop. When when men say he's on that gay shit, it don't be how you think it. No, they don't mean he's on some dick in the booty shit. No. That's not how we use gay. Well, maybe people should stop using... Me and motherfucking low can get a motherfucking room right now. Ain't nothing gay about it. It's not. I agree. Right. That's why when that, that little video came out, and we talked about that off camera at length, that it was a lot of opinions going around the room, but I was like, okay, you never... So every time everyone moves, there's only one man to a room every single time? No, but that's what no. I'm trying to tell you. You don't think... It's not something wrong with... Benzino and Cavario, it's something wrong with the motherfucker. For you to see this in your head and then you just create this net, you don't think that's a problem? Yes, I, like, I do. Like that's you what I'm see me and Logan just out the blue, like the video don't say nothing. We just walking out, you like, oh, you know, they was in there fucking. I agree. That's that's what, weird. Weird and wild. Two W's. Like, yo, it's like at, at some point. We either going to let people be who they are and accept them for who they are, or we're not failing this shit. It's one or the other. It can't be we're going to go after all the dudes that 
say they live, live gangster music or they live the street life, those are the people we are trying to out. And putting this this stigma, whatever it is on niggas' names and trying to make it seem someone's like that, I always felt like whoever the dude was, um, I forgot the fucking dude's name. Fuck the dude, whoever he is. Um, little bitch. Um, but fucking um Lordy. Like, even if Zeno was what the fuck would have been the problem? Like, this nigga's 57, 57 years old. About the fuck 60. do care? What, what do niggas care about what the fuck he doing? He ain't out here hurting a motherfucker like he was. Nigga ain't out here selling that shit. Like, it's a bunch of shit he could be doing other than the shit that niggas is talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I definitely think we need to start looking at that shit. It's either we accept this shit and we want people to come out or stay your ass in the closet. It can't be both. It can't be stay in the closet and come out. One foot in, one foot out. And it can't be these people can come out and it's cool. But when these people come out, yo, we're going to bash them. It got to be the same love all around. All right, Kraft Farrakhan. <laughs> you got you sweating on that one. <laughs> uh, at the end of the day, that's still boss. <laughs> Oh my god. And I don't like when niggas be on that shit. No. And fuck all you niggas that was really trying to put that shit on his name. You know what I'm saying? You niggas are some fucking busters. You niggas are some niggas that really want some clickbait. I can understand niggas really just chopping it up and having fun on this shit. That's what this shit's about. But for niggas to really putting it on it and knowing like the nigga daughter got a motherfucking album that just came out. Nah, that shit that shit's out of order. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool. Yo, let's talk shit. You know, let's catch some jokes. Yo, you was bugging. Yo, the nigga, but to really, yo, nah, this nigga Dragon. motherfucking really was just with it. Nigga, listen to the phone cut. Like, and you really going out your way to prove some shit you know not. <laughs> not prove. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that shit's crazy. Mm -mm -mm. And a lot of you niggas, fuck y'all niggas coming from Boston, 617, Massachusetts. You know what it is. You dig? You see that? Chip City. Oh, you know, we in the playoffs, right? Today, so you motherfuckers should know, man. And shout out Zeno, um, shout out Lil Coy, you know what I'm saying? And um, her album, what was the name of that joint that just came out too? Motherfuckers need to get in touch. Boston should have stood up on that. Like niggas should have threw her motherfucking party in the city. That shit's big, and that's why I say like so many people get on and leave the fucking city because there's no love in the city. Like, she shouldn't have had it. Niggas should have threw one nigga in her man and nigga recorded that motherfucker. Like, niggas got to start showing each other love. Shout out Days too. Just did his thing. Um, shout out um, Exit Flame. Just was on 94.5. I you know saw what I'm that. Saying? Yeah. Like, that shit's mad big. Mm -hmm. Niggas need to start really giving niggas they love, though. Stop feeling because it ain't you, mm -hmm. it's not cool. Like, mm -hmm. it don't got to be you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't always going to be you. Sometimes just stand up for other people, man. That's how you get your blessings. You know what I'm saying? Like, your blessings don't come by throwing shade. You know what I'm saying? Okay, lingo. Throwing Whatever the shade. fuck you call it. Well. <laughs> like, yo, yes. so niggas definitely got to start thinking about that shit, man. Like, yo, Massachusetts as a whole, we got to start standing up on... Um, that was big. She should have did big numbers in the city. She should have did big numbers in mass. She have a father that was in this game. She got a little brother that came before her. Like, and now she's up. You know what I'm saying? And when niggas is talking shit about Benzino, nigga, nigga, that's, that's motherfucking two for two. Like, I don't know what niggas could be talking about. Mm. What the fuck else do you want this nigga to do? Like, this nigga's chilling or living his fucking life like... Everybody ain't going to stay at the top. It's a bunch of niggas that was at the top in the 90s ain't at the top. It's a lot of street niggas that was at the top mm -hmm. in the 90s. They ass ain't at the top. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of niggas that was up in the early 2000s. They ass ain't up. The middle 2000s. Mm -hmm. Like, dog, that shit go with it. And, it. and it ain't about staying as high as you was, but it's not staying as low as you came from. You know what I'm saying? Like, as long as you don't go back down the way you was, then shit, you elevate and you all right. But at the same time, you not going to forever stay in the sky. Jay will not always be Jay. There is going to be a young motherfucker that's going to come and replace Jay. And Jay going to be just a nigga sitting around where he always had that credit. But yes, do you think two generations from now? Because niggas is already starting to be like that. Nobody give a fuck about Jay and his young generation. Nah, because he's like 50 years old, so... 
It's like nobody they know they about have reasonable no, doubt. Yeah, yeah, they have nobody no know about in my lifetime. Mm-hmm. Nobody know about streets is watching. And don't These niggas is like nigga, and I'm not rewatching it. Yep. <laughs> I don't want to see it again. I, you know, I missed it. Fuck Never it, I missed again. it. You know what I'm saying? So motherfuckers need to realize that. Stop like counting us out, counting each other out because we get older or motherfuckers get. And, and let new people when that nigga let his son in, that nigga let his daughter in, that nigga let a whole fucking gang of niggas in from Boston. It would have been no fucking wise guys without no fucking Ray Dog. Wouldn't have been none of this shit. Why you think it's so? Such, especially uh, in the city, nigga, should motherfucking respect that shit. Like, and not to say you older niggas, but I'm talking about the niggas my age and the younger generation. Why you think it's like a a age cap on art? People always like, oh, that nigga's old, he's washed. Not just him, but older cats in general. everything is for the young ones. Everything everything is a young man's sport. Basketball, young man's sport. Football, young man's sport. Yeah, but Soccer, singing, everything. rapping? It's not even rapping singing, but rapping? Sport. Think oh. so? I don't a lot know of these why. rappers ain't telling their age. How the fuck old you think Lil Durk is? That nigga like 40. Mm. Bullshit. A lot of these little niggas is like, for how the fuck you think? You think Fabi, what, 22? Probably like motherfucking 35. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of these niggas that's old and, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's why I say as an entertainer, you know, I was looking at Dirk one day a couple months ago and, you know, shout out to Dirk and everything he did. That nigga done came back like three times. Mm-hmm. And that that is amazing Come his on, career. Yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, they keep going. And I tell niggas I done did that shit a hundred times. You know, throughout my life, I done reinvented myself a bunch of times. You go to a bunch of group of motherfuckers, they all know me from some different shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I keep going. But with him, I was like, damn, it's fucked up like that where he's at. If he wanted to grow his bed, he could. He couldn't even just grow a bed right now. He got to stay with the... It's, it's certain niggas that got to stay... The way they The are way known. they are. They got to stay looking like that young, energetic, like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I was um not even trying to go in on him, but I was looking at his face and like, you can tell this nigga face and he was like, motherfucker, let us grow. Let <laughs> us come the fuck give out. Us free. Word. Let, <laughs> nigga, free <laughs> us, nigga. Niggas be like, free the jail, free your face, nigga. Just let your face just rock <laughs> out. Hashtag free your face. It's cool, man. Just let your shit rock. But yeah. if that's your brand and that's how you're known. No, that's I mean, why I understand it coming from him. But I know it has to be fucked up how we see things as these people are good. We don't know what come with being good. We just see the bright lights. We mm-hmm. see dark run out on stage, oh shit, yo, the new chain, and yo, he had 100,000 in his hand, but we don't know his everyday conditions he go through to keep this shit mm-hmm. going. You know what I'm saying? Because like all black men know, this shit gonna stop. Everything is finite, not infinite, okay? Well, speaking of reinventing, remember when um the baby had like, Adult diapers on or something. That's another nigga reinvented himself and motherfucking came off, nigga. Now he's a million dollar baby. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you definitely got to show love to that. That's what I'm saying. Like, to everything, it's a growth. I think to everything, you have to know how to reinvent yourself for you to sustain in life. For you to be a motherfucker to keep moving, you have to, you can't stay one way. I don't care if you are a gang member, a nigga that sell drugs, like, to all things you got to, because everything just ain't going to go. You know what I'm saying? So when you trying to better shit and you got to change certain shit up, maybe it be your dressing, maybe it be your hairstyle, maybe it be the jewelry, whatever it is. You know, some people wear more jewelry. Some people stop wearing jewelry. Like, it's definitely reinventing yourself into who you trying to become. And speaking of the baby, man had to put something down, honey. Shot it intruder. Um, I don't know why that person did that. You know I'm a white person. Why are you going I think running the up the baby? The baby that might have motherfucking shot more people than anybody. <laughs> Yo. That nigga need a trophy. I'm sorry, it's not funny, but it's no funny how you said it. <laughs> no, I think he probably shot more people than anybody in hip hop. Like, I don't think no other nigga done been on record for that many shootings Child just said in he's his an career. Active shooter. No bullshit. <laughs> and niggas still be trying to talk to him while. And run up in the man house? Child. And they said fucking. Police that came to that crib since this year, a hundred times or better, in this year. But I said living in a 
a North Carolina, South Carolina, you can only think you're going to get that type of attention. And I want to say that, too. That's fucking mad big for him keeping his fucking house down there, him having that big ass estate in his hometown. That's mad fucking big. When I noticed that yesterday, I was like, damn, that's dope. So many niggas would have got that bread and went to the Atlanta would have went to a Miami. Mm-hmm. But it'd be good when you keep that shit at home because it brings more money in your home. And I guarantee you, mark my words, we've been saying this for like the last three years, North Carolina, South Carolina is the next Atlanta. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. Been saying that. Especially in North Carolina. Uh, like, oh, definitely. And that's what we need to do in Boston. The only thing that fuck us up is this shit is super high. So I can, mm-hmm. I was thinking about that. Like, that crib he got down there, can you imagine that no. shit in, like... Absolutely not. <laughs> let's just say Newton. No. Tom Brady and them crib was, like, a fucking $30 million house. And I don't even want to say they shit might have been the same size or a little bit small. Because mm. that shit the baby got is crazy big. Who else, um... Actively shooting and actively shout out to Blanco on. and them too, man. I seen them niggas out there too in that big ass crib too, man. Dig shout out SK, man. I seen on um, who else he had out there? What's big boy's name? G Nipsey. I mm-hmm. see G Nipsey turning up. Shout out them niggas. That crib looked the dope as shit. That pool was fire. Oh my god, summertime is coming. I can't wait to SK. You already pool. know, man. Niggas put them bitches out there, man. Hit us, man. We on deck. We like shooting pictures and shit. <laughs> Got a couple cameras, honey. We mobile. Shout out Boston Mobile Detailing. And they, but we mobile with the footage. Honey. And we come through with the car wash. Nigga, we got the, <laughs> the real shit popping off. You know what I'm saying? You get pictures, get your shit car washed. You get your bitches washed, everything. Video. You might lose a bitch. Hey, you know, invite us to the party. <laughs> no. Should we like the party? We like the party, honey, and we do it well. Like to have a good time. Who else um, going ham sandwich out here? I know we got to go back to... Um, Shout out Bricks and them just coming up. We just had Bricks in the building. Your dad, Gert, came through. Shout out Trini. You know what I'm saying? Mission in the A came through. Fucked with niggas, man. That was a big night for niggas. Fucked up. We didn't get to continue it. But you already know y'all niggas back on. That was some unexpected shit. Didn't expect to have two stars in the building. Matter of fact, three, three. stars in the building. Don't forget Trini. He they was can't smoking, forget motherfucking all white. Nigga the came up here looking like he was signed to CMB, nigga. No bullshit. I'm like, who the fuck is that, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta watch the nigga to keep his mask on the whole pod, nigga. Child. Nigga ain't take his mask off. Yeah, I was like, they don't even know what homie look like. And that, I think that was the goal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was real shit. But um, shout out to them goal. niggas, man, coming through fucking with us, man. Y'all see the pictures go up there on. Um, run it up. Break shit, run this shit up. You already know. Trini said he got some shit on the way. Gert said he got some shit on the way. Run them niggas shit up, man. You already know what it is. Hashtag run it up. What else going on? Because, you know, we getting. Down to dirty later, so you want to save it, or we gonna keep going? Cause keep I think going. it's I think it's inching both both of us. To Shout out Billy, his it. shit coming too on the yeah. way. Day. Kill the rapper, shit all over. You know what I'm saying? Listen, what is it? Only built for uh, triple beams. Damn, I thought you was gonna finish that quicker, man. Yo, mm-hmm. Bill, man, fire her, huh, man. That's your PR fire. Huh? Oh my god, I did. You didn't even know what I it thought, was. I did. I was going to let you finish. I thought we was tag teaming. Oh, my God. Oh, now you want to tag team. Oh. All right. let you spit some shit. Legion of Doom. Whatever. Um, What else going on? Oh. And shout out to the Weedo interview that just came out. <laughs> Go run that shit up. Run it up. You know out. what I'm saying? That shit just dropped. Drop. Yep. <laughs> um, and we got a couple of people that have been released. I know this year... Fat Cat coming home. Shout out to Fat Cat. Who's that 80s nigga coming home? Hmm. A lot of them 80s boys about to be coming home, too. But them Child. and them niggas going to come home and try to do something positive in the community. Mm-hmm. I don't see Fat Cat coming home and trying to continue that tradition. That nigga been down for, like, what, 30 years? I about to say 30. 30-something, probably. Yep, because I'm 40. Shit, maybe about 40. Yep. Because I want to say a lot of that shit started kicking off, like, 82, 83, mm. maybe they went down like 88, maybe 88, 90, so some shit like that. Whew. So we've probably been back like 32 years. Shout out to him, you know, just got on parole to the feds. But um, it been seeming like he coming home, a lot of motherfuckers screaming he coming home. 
And if y'all ain't got that book, look into that book on Queen's Reign Supreme. The whole shit's on him, um, Prince, Prem, all of them. The book good as shit. One of them good readers. Um, and then I read, I read it on the streets, and I read it in jail. You can read. You did. Know <laughs> uh, what's the other little fella came home? Shout out everybody coming home. Lil J. Oh yeah, Lil J, the Chicago drill man. Child. Clout God. Home. Nigga that started most of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh um, I seen him come on, Lil J look more fucking crazy than a motherfucker, nigga. I mean, that nigga shit, what he supposed to look like? Top model? Wow. <laughs> but one thing about it, you could tell he was in there. It was a hard one. You could tell he was in there probably banging and getting into it. So, you know, shout out to him. I think he been down 2000, maybe 15, 14. So he probably did like seven, eight years. Mm. And they were saying he was supposed to do like a 30 piece. So um, love to him, man. You know, blessings. Hope he come home, do the right thing, jump into the music, get what he deserved because he definitely deserves some of that light Chicago's getting. He was the first one. I think he got popped up like – 24 fucking times fucking Jesus. with this shit. Yeah, they was, like, gunning him down, like, on his bell, coming out on bell. Like, yeah, he was definitely on. And I think he said he just wrapped up from the hole. And a lot of niggas know how that shit is when you wrap up from the hole. That means you didn't get to prepare for coming home. You knew you was coming home, but it was like you couldn't get a haircut. You couldn't mm-hmm. get the line up, all that type of shit. So you just got... That morning kicked you the fuck mm-hmm. out. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Lil' J coming home, man. Mm. And Hopefully we get some good music. I'm telling you, or something. Uh, what you think they're gonna do though? Like, um, Drill God would have, um, he would have been dope with a podcast. He would have been, he would have, he would have killed this podcast shit in Chicago because he was like one of the first niggas talking that real shit, talking the real stories, the really being on fuck niggas and all that shit. So I think he would, if he. Don't fuck with music. He should definitely do a part. I think he'll definitely be able to contribute to this podcast space. We think the young people are going to embrace him? Because we were just talking about how sometimes people age out unfairly or fairly. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you was then, we now. Depends on how he's rocking. He's like fucking he, with the young niggas. I think the young niggas. I think the young niggas more wait to see how we moving. Mm-hmm. So it's like, like don't come in trying to lay the yeah, hammer don't down. Don't come in with the yo. I'm the now. I'm home. Yeah, you niggas fall back. No, that shit ain't gonna work. Like top boy, you gotta come on and like listen, sir. I just want to <laughs> talk it out with y'all, right? I got a little solution we could come to. Like, with them niggas, you got to really, because they don't. Them niggas don't have no understanding. They're moving fast. Mm-hmm. Everything's moving fast. Them niggas forget about yesterday Child. in a fucking minute. Like, yesterday Not is like a minute. Yesterday was yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> them niggas have no motherfucking understanding of what yesterday was. You know what I'm saying? So, I definitely say, um, it depends on how you come home and give it up. Mm-hmm. And I was trying to think who's on his Side of town with that because Doug's dead. A lot of them STO niggas is dead, so I don't know because he was kind of like the opposition of like Little Dark and all them. So they're like the winning side right now. I mean, you know better. Machine Gun Auntie tries to keep her thumb on the pulse of what's happening with the youth. I'm trying, but it's hard to keep up. Like you said, yesterday's um, yesterday. And Chicago um, started this drill shit. If you they don't really know. started this. Niggas being disrespectful and talking on niggas' names and talking about dead people and smoking dead people. Ooh. Like, all this shit come from Chicago. All this shit was, like, their first real heavy, and that shit just took the world by storm. That shit hurt my feelings, and I ain't got nothing to do with it. You see, they was... Um, I was looking at Phase on Love interview, right? Mm-hmm. Um, he been going at Hove lately. Now, is that for clicks, or is, is he, like, you know what I'm saying? What do you think? Is it for clicks and for, for I think relevancy? It's, I, think it's out of not, I think it's out of being real, because he don't talk much. Mm. And when he talk, he speak with, like, humor, but with grace, too. Like, he's not one that just, like, shit on you. I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I think he's the best rapper, but this shit I don't agree with. Mm-hmm. And he was like, he don't agree with how Jay presents that drug lord shit. Um, but where is this coming from, you think? Because everybody really think that about Hov. Right, but Hov is 
50 years old. He's been talking that drug because lord shit since. still talk that shit. <clears throat> and me, sorry, yo. when he was saying, like, it makes a, a young rapper think, in order for me to get there, then I have to do these things. Um, but that's the tales all this time, ain't it? Like, life and art, what's real, what's not. You know what I'm saying? Like, we talked about this before on and off camera. Not everything that somebody says out their mouth is fact. Not when fact. it comes to whistling. You can say that shit kind of about anybody else except for home. Mm. Niggas really like the fucking Bible. That's a fact. <laughs> the like, lyrical Bible, niggas but... Niggas like the fucking hip-hop Bible. Like, what he say is end-all, be-all. Um, but, now nah, I do kind of understand where he's coming from with it. And he even said, like, where Hov responded on the Pusha T shit. Um, he think Hov understood what he was saying. Because he was like, Hov didn't, you know, come off crazy. And, you know, that ain't the way Hov come off. And one thing I can say about this nigga, man, um, let's definitely give Hov that. That nigga don't forget shit. He's I don't an elephant. Fuck how long it <laughs> takes. He bringing that shit back up. If that was something said about him two years ago, and he ain't dropped in two years, but when he dropped, he talking about all that shit. Whoever threw that shot, hove like, and I was thinking about him. I said, and what made me think about it because right after, somebody put the old clip up of him putting Prodigy on the Hot ninety seven screen, and that oh, was fucking man, crazy. I forgot about that. That was the, like that's how much of a god he was like. Threw him on the screen like nobody knew that was coming. That wasn't no shit like everybody knew. It was just that day, boom, everybody seen it. That's how big. This Child. is how real hip-hop was then. Mm. This is real hip-hop. That wasn't that shit like these people knew what was going on. Nah, no, motherfuckers was lost. You said it wasn't the Will Smith You know slap. what I'm saying? So definitely, um, shout out Hov. Um, definitely, I think some of that shit Hov said need to be broken down. Um, Definitely. You said the lyrical Bible. You can, um, that's the one you got to rewind and, and listen um, again. Do we still rewind? <laughs> what's the name, too? How, um, and, um, shout out to D Haven. He was like the nigga that was really the nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And we don't even, and that's how crazy it is. Look how niggas treat him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, just off hold being like, fuck him. Said he's the Bible. He said, You know what I'm saying? Him. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's how strong that shit is. Like, ho say fuck you, you done. My left hand itching. Is well, it money? Mama ain't been the same since. Well, he didn't say fuck her. She fucked herself with that one. Man, you know that was his <laughs> call all after that. Left hand or right hand itching when you get getting some money. I think either one. Either one. <laughs> either one. Ring on. Damn. I gotta shoot my shit down. Um, back to the sports ball. You know, we in the playoffs. You kind of skipped over that season. The playoffs <clears throat> tomorrow, game one. How you think it's going down? Taking it all the way. I think it's a good chance we could take it. I mean, the worst thing you could do is let us get into the playoff. Once you let us in, tell people that shit, man. We unpredictable like a motherfucker. Like it could <laughs> look like we lost three games straight. And then that shit could be ours. So, you know, with the Souths, man, any Boston team, once we there, I just I ride it say, out. That's Boston sports for you, no uh, matter the, the genre of the game. No like matter the ball. nothing that can make me think that we out until we out. Child. Like, what KG say? You know what I'm saying? Anything's like, real possible. shit. Like, so, I definitely think <laughs> it's a good chance we could take it. And um, Sox. Home opener was the other day. And shout, shout out, out to, to Loaded. Loaded was the first one to say that shit, too. No well. bullshit that the Souths might take it for the year. He was. He was the first one to be like, yo, you peeped this shit? Because hmm. I want to say that's when they bust, um, what's the name's ass? Steph Curry, you know? Mm. State. And that's when a lot of motherfuckers was like, okay, we might be on to something now. <laughs> but motherfuckers know Brooklyn the hard when they get through. That's a fact. Brooklyn is not easy. Mm -mm. It's not get, It's not hard getting over that bridge. So we got to get over that bridge and then keep going. And that bridge is motherfucking Literally stacked. Literally and figuratively, huh? Real shit. Brooklyn like, Bridge. That bridge is really stacked, man. No bullshit. That's a hard one to get through. But I think we got the young boys to do it. Real shit. But 
Yeah, Kyrie and them, you know, them niggas is not trying to let. And one thing about, I think people don't understand, like, we are a hated team. We are a hated team just for winning so much. Mm-hmm. So when we come, All motherfuckers is like, they ain't winning this shit. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers be trying to embarrass us more than anything. Yo, let's let's fool all these niggas yeah, and send them home. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we one of them squads people really want to embarrass. Mm-hmm. Niggas want to take like us out. Like, it be personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. In the socks. Um, and that was the funny shit. shit um, that was dope. I was watching um episode on the pod guy shit. And um, he was talking some shit. And he was talking about how him and um, Tatum was texting each other, and he was talking about how New York bust Boston's ass, and I was like, yo, boom, 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 you know, talking shit to Tatum, and Tatum was like, oh, you know next week game is in Boston? And nigga said, nigga, Tatum lit they ass up and then text them back that night, like, you know your boy's coming to fuck home, like, nah, that should be dope shit, you know? And it's good to see that the, the NBA players be into it, mm-hmm. like, where you could call and talk shit to niggas, mm-hmm. like, and then that... Makes niggas game stronger, like, mm-hmm. no, so that's definitely dope. They got a brotherhood. Mm-hmm. You know, only they know what's going on. <clears throat> Podcast, too. You only know what we experience all the same things, so only we can understand and only they can understand. Yeah, shout out to all the podcasters coming, too. Shout out to Top of the Town, man. We see y'all, y'all niggas out there working hard. Yeah. Niggas see you only having a motherfucking meltdown, but... You know, sometimes you got to speak the truth like that, man. That's why I was like, nah, go ahead and talk your shit. Yo, you looking like you sweating and all. Real shit, nigga. That nigga looked like he was going through a rough one. But that's how you got to do sometimes this shit. Get it on your nerves so much. You got to really be real with the people. Like, sometimes motherfuckers do. They think this shit is just an easy job. It's all fun. Like, mm. this shit is hard motherfucking Chill. work. That's why when niggas be like, yo, you in there sweating. Nigga, I was doing some other shit before this. Like, <laughs> this shit is hard. Keeping up with all this shit, meeting that many different fucking... I don't think I ever met this many people in my fucking life besides in jail. Mm. Like, real shit. Like, you meet niggas, you got to adjust to niggas, you got to kick it with niggas, you got to know who a nigga is, know his background. Read energy. You know what I'm saying? So, definitely, shout out to all the pods that's coming, man. Um, What's it called? Unmasked? Shout out to Fence. What? You already know who they want. <laughs> Yo. That nigga killed oh that shit. God. That was like the dopest shit ever when he said that shit. Nah, that shit's fine. You got to um, get in the studio ASAP, sir. And we trying to get them um, to do a joint podcast. So look out. You should see uh, this shit stop in the um, Mass Uncovered podcast coming soon. And shout out Skids, too, man. We always say shout out Fizz like he doing this shit by himself. Shout out Skids, For too, sure. man. We see y'all. Sure. Shout out Ratty, man. I know you in the back doing some shit. Something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Drinking a hundred beds, talking shit. <laughs> so Ratty do. Everybody got a job. He just got Everybody his fucking got cooler a job. and his beds, and he directed shit. Cooler gang. Oh, no bullshit. Hashtag cooler gang. <clears throat> um, so we going to come back later. We should drop this ASAP. We going to come back later, man. Get out, y'all. Oh. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna. There's you know shit. It should be where niggas can catch some rack. It's a Saturday night, depending on what time it is. We might go live, but we know a lot of people watching the fight, so it is. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. We might um go live. We might put it together, mm-hmm. but um we definitely back at y'all tonight with that treat. This is gonna be giving it y'all ASAP. This was something we haven't been coming hard. We've been really fucking with these interviews. That shit been driving us fucking crazy. Me and her in here feuding a bunch of shit, man. But we still trying to get it together for y'all, man. He said shout out to all couple. And shout out to everybody that came through and fucked with us, man. man. You know what I'm saying? That shit's been big. I'm this has been you. a hell of a two, three months running. Everybody came up here, showed they ass. Shout out she, her ladies, Gigi. Yeah, they running. I see they had like a little commercial shit this morning. Oh, we going to start trying to get out to some of that shit. Mm-hmm. Oh. Shout out Big Rock, you know what I'm saying? Ruggle Street coming to fuck with us. Mission came in and fucked with us. You know what I'm saying? We're like Switzerland. No bullshit. Everybody been coming through really showing real love. Mm-hmm. This is unbiased territory, people. Come through, show love. Show love, you get love, ain't it? No bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And to all y'all artists, man, we about to be coming back. We about to be reaching out. We got Hov coming. We trying to have two coming. We trying to get Goon up here. Call him out. Call him um, out, honey. I'm trying to think, man. Who else <laughs> we got on the way, man? You know what I'm saying? Um, got a few things in the 
tucked in the cut. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Give me, um, we got my man Rob Mess. He just dropped a book. Shout out to him. His book just came out like a couple days ago. Head ass doing good. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see it on the joint. You know, um, run that up. Go out there get his book. I think it's on Amazon. So go out there grab that. You know what I'm saying? Drop one jewel before we go. I know you got a few. No drop the soap, man. Oh my god, I was gonna oh, say man. something profound, oh. but all right. Uh, this is your stop podcast. That's craft. I'm Johnny, and we'll see you on the other side. Oh, shout out oh. to Yahweh out there killing it in New York, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We still try to put it together, see if I can finesse it, get out there with you. But you already know if I do, if I don't, it's always love. We got you. We support your shit here. You already know what it is, man. We don't got to be with you to be with you, man. We in spirit. <coughs> Johnny out.